Hello guys, welcome to the new video of Talent Battle. Today we have with us Mr. Abhishek Pankar who has just been placed in Cognizant Technologies with a package of 4 LPA. So welcome Abhishek. Sir. So Abhishek, uh, first of all we want to congratulate you, the whole team Talent Battle congratulates you on being placed at Cognizant Technologies and starting Thank your you. career with such a big MNC. Yes sir. Thank you. Okay, Abhishek. So uh, today, Abhishek is with us to share his valuable experience of the hiring process of Cognizant. So, Abhishek, uh, today we want you to share each and everything in brief, in brief with our audience. Okay. So let's start with the first question, Abhishek. Uh, so first of all, we want to know that uh, was it an on-campus or off-campus drive? So it was an on-campus drive. Okay. The Cognizant came to your college, right? Yes, sir. Right. Right. Okay, so uh, can you just tell us uh, just brief on the profiles Cognizant provided at the registration process and which yes, profile sir. you selected in? So actually there were three profiles. Uh, it was Gen C, Gen C Elevate and Gen C Next. Gen C Next for was only for computer science and IT students. Gen C Elevate for ENTC students and Gen C for, for all branches. As I belong to mechanical branch, I was eligible in for Gen C program. Okay, so you are from mechanical branch, right? Uh, yes. So uh, it's a huge uh, like advancement for you, like being a mechanical student and selected in an IT company. Great, great, Abhishek. We are happy Thank to hear this from you. Okay, so you were selected in Gen C profile, right? Which has a package yes. of four LPA. Yes, sir. Okay, so let us start with the registration process, right? Like when did you apply for the drive and for uh, like what was the criteria? What was the criteria for 10th, 12th, and BTEC? Just explain us in brief that also. Yes, sir. So the notification uh, of the drive came on between June to July in our means college campus only. And uh, the registration was by the SuperSet platform. So we registered by that. And eligibility was 60% in uh, 10th, 12th, and as well as in the BTEC aggregate only. And okay. I think there was uh, one uh, backlog was allowed, I think so. I don't remember okay. exactly, but I think. Alert. No live backlog, but the backlog should be cleared before you joining. I think that was some criteria. Okay, okay. So sixty percent was the criteria. Yeah, yeah, right, sir. Okay. So uh, moving on to like uh, you registered for the test. Then how many days? In how many days you were confirmed? Like you can sit for the cognizant. And what was the first uh, hiring process? Like for hiring stage of the cognizant. So I think after 10 to 15 days, we received the pre-placement talk. So in pre-placement talk, they briefed about all the company details and all the profile we are get, going to get. So after pre-placement talk, a week after we got a test link. Okay. So after applying, we can say after uh, 18 to 20 days, uh, we got a test link for attitude test. Okay, okay. So what was the questions basically asked? What was the duration of the test? So it was basically a one hour test. So for Gen C, we have no coding there. We have only applied questions. And it was a mix of all applied questions, means percentage, profit and loss, and all, all such topics were mixed there. So we have no coding, only applied tests were there. And each question, one mark, and no negative marking. OK. And on uh, like which platform the test was conducted? In from MCAT, sir. OK, from MCAT platform, right. So yes, can you just explain us how many sections were there in the online test? Uh, so there was no uh, segregated sections. It was continuous test. So we have 60 questions, 60 minutes. So that was a duration. So, so there were okay. no particular sections, but the questions were mixed. Means the verbal, font, and logical questions were mixed. Sir. OK. Any important topics you remember that should help us to crack the first assessment? Yes, actually, the divisibility rules, uh, the number system, uh, their questions came a lot from there. So, uh, talent development team helped me a lot because I did that uh, to in that. So, that topic, as well as the logical reasoning part of the calendars, time and clock, that came a lot. So, I think okay. most of these were mixed, but these topics came uh, two, three questions more than other. Okay, okay. So, all the questions were MCQ type only. Yes, sir, it was MCU type only. Okay. And were there any technical questions also asked in the test? No, sir. Only attitude questions. Okay. No, no technical questions were asked. No, sir. Okay. And topics from verbal? 
So verbal, we have the comprehension, then uh, error correction, uh, synonyms, antonyms, uh, as well as the sequence of the, the sequence is changed. I mean, to arrange it in sequence the sentences. That type of questions will be. Okay. Okay. And uh, were the passing criteria also told to the students or not? Uh, in pre-placement talk, they brief like it will be around sixty-five to seventy percent. They are okay. not fixed about that. Sixty-five to seventy percent, I think. So. Okay. Okay. And after how many days you got uh, like uh, you got the mail that you have cleared the online assessment and you were called for the next? Think, uh, yes, sir. I think after two weeks uh, we got the mail from college. Okay. Okay. And was the test time efficient? Uh, yes, sir, it was because the questions to difficulty are moderate, not too difficult also. So it was efficient. So. Okay. So moving ahead, like you got the mail for the uh, interview, right? The second stage yes. for the cognizant is interview. So yes, like, sir. okay, kindly brief us on that. Like uh, for uh, how many minutes the interview was here, like duration of the interview and what questions were asked. Sure, sir, sure. So my interview went around for 30 minutes, I think, approximately. And uh, as I was belonging to non-circuit uh, branch, I was belonging to mechanical branch. Mostly my questions were beginning for my core branch, my project, my introduction. So initial questions were there from only my project and all. And then the last, last two, three questions, I think, uh, asked between one coding question was asked. Uh, simple logic was asked for that means for a prime, ex prime numbers example means the coding question was asked. Uh, they only asked the logic not to write the code and uh, HR questions were also asked means it was a mix of both HR and technical. Okay. So uh, being a mechanical student, did you carry the IT projects with you like in your resume or there was mechanical uh, branch projects with you? Actually, sir, my project was related to EV. So a uh, little bit of our uh, IT side also I worked, means IoT part I worked there. So it was a better advantage for me to explain that. So it was a good advantage for me. Okay. And uh, did the interview ask you like uh, the questions from core IT subjects like data structure, oops? Uh, no, sir. They only asked one, one to coding questions and uh, not just structure questions. Okay. And were you allowed to like solve the coding question in any of the language or they told you the particular language? Language. They just asked the logic behind it and just the pseudo code is the logic behind it and what will your means, uh, approximate uh, approach for that. Okay. And uh, like uh, while solving, did they ask you to present your screen or you were just dictating down the answer to them? Yes, sir. Coding uh, in question. Superset platform, no, sir. In Superset platform, we have a coding screen by side of the interview. One means one side there is video, and other side there is a coding screen. So we can okay. write this. Okay, okay. So, what was your overall experience after the interview? Like, uh, were you able to answer all of their questions? Because I'm asking you because you were from mechanical branch, right? Yeah. So, like, were you able to answer all the questions correctly, or there were some questions that you can't answer? So related to my core branch questions, I answered them all correctly. They were impressed with that answers. Uh, I think uh, they asked me two coding questions. One code I could write, another code I could just explain. I was not able to write on the compiler. So that was only thing uh, I missed on. Uh, the rest of all the interview experience was good for me. Okay, so did you remember what kind of coding questions were uh, asked? So one was prime number, which they were giving a uh, sequence of prime numbers and to identify which are repeating prime numbers in that. That was one question. Another was something uh, related to Fibonacci series. Okay. And uh, like after the interview, uh, how, in how many days you got your interview results? Like you have cleared the interview? Uh, sir, I think in one week I we got the results. Okay. One or two. One, one week, I think. Okay. So moving ahead, did you had any other interview with Cognizant or that was the final interview? No, it was final interview because it was a mix of HR and technical board. Okay. HR questions were also asked in the same interview. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Okay. So moving forward to HR type of questions. So what, uh, any questions you remember what the HR asked you? Yes, sir. Uh, like the first question was asked, being a mechanical student want to join IT. So that okay. was one question. Yes. Then, uh, are you, will, will you be able to cope up with the IT and all? Then are you able to learn new things? Then uh, 
uh, so the family background also talks about my hobbies and all and uh, last question was like uh, if we uh, give any new task that you are not competent in and you want to learn within a short time will you be able to do it or not? so just they were checking my means learning capability now so it was basic questions okay so like what was your what was your overall experience with cognizant hiring process so it was smooth process means i got a very best experience and i think i performed my best also. a great great so any suggestions from your side to your junior those who are preparing for the same company uh, like you are from mechanical so you can guide us better uh, like uh, you can motivate mechanical and other branches students to join the it companies okay so sure, one, any suggestions yes, from your side yes sir one advice i would give that uh, to students that you should make your attitude very strong because for general there is no coding rule so your best performance is it <laughs> We should not ignore the aptitude questions. We should practice more and more. But that's what makes our first step clear. Because we don't during the first stage, we are not eligible for interview. So that is the first step. Everyone should uh, miss taken consideration. Another is sir, uh, been uh, core branch student, either mechanical, electrical, or civil. The company I think they want from you is the uh, whether you are capable of learning new things or not. You should show them the attitude that you are. Even if you are the core branch student, you can learn the. new stuff for them you can miss do the projects and you have the capability to cope up with the new challenges i think that's the spirit you should show in your uh, interview also so that's the main thing i think that matters all right so uh, we are at the end of the session abhishek and today we got us uh, many many important information that is required for the students because 2023 batch is coming up so might this video help them a lot right mm -hmm. so anything else you want to mention in the end basically uh, yes sir one thing i would like to mention like uh, bina mechanical student there was only as a means fear in me about the coding part because uh, it always feared me because but what i did was i compensated in aptitude and all other parts so in cognizant we don't have coding but in other companies they, we have to coding so i would recommend that basic minimum uh, language you should know and basic codes you should know because uh, whether it be interview or attitude coding will be there so we should not fear for that and if we give time sufficient time we can definitely learn in language i think because it is about logic so i uh, basically uh, for me it was less time for me but i learn afterward after that but uh, if we have any time is uh, for juniors they have time they should definitely learn one language for at least pretty easy to do that yes so that was your basic learning strategy for the it companies right yes, yes so yes. practicing just one coding language in deep that could help us to survive in the placements right yes yes right sir so uh, thank you abhishek from the whole team of talent battle and once again uh, congratulate you uh, on being placed in such a big mnc and starting your it uh, journey Uh, being a mechanical student, right? So uh, my last yeah. question to you is: uh, Have you joined the Cognizant, or you are still waiting for your onboarding? So I have joined Cognizant, and my training is going on now. Internship is going on. Okay. So how is the company experience? Like now, you are experience uh, experiencing the company in between, right? So yes, sir, yes. How is your experience yes, with Cognizant? Yes, sir. Uh, I'm learning new many things right now. So it's basically a good experience for me because it's i'm now still in the learning stage exploring new things it's making me more enthusiastic and curious great so thank you abhishek for sparing your time and guiding your juniors today so thanks a lot for being here today and hope our audience has get some important knowledge from this video and we are very excited to launch other videos very soon as well so kindly subscribe to our youtube channel so that you can get this informative content on in just one click so thanks again abhishek thanks a lot thank you.